Okay, welcome back to part two of making a mash lauder ton out of a 70 quart Coleman uh, cooler. Um, and again, this is nothing that nobody else hasn't already covered except for the fact that the manifold itself is made out of CPVC and not copper. If you're interested in making a manifold out of copper, I really suggest checking out Keith Brown's uh, video on doing that. He has an excellent play-by-play uh, -play on what he's doing. So just you can see again, it looks a lot like PVC, but it's not. Don't use PVC for uh, for anything for your brew stuff unless you know you're just using it to transfer water from things that aren't gonna be drank by people. Um, so this is what you're gonna be looking at uh, as a completed project. And there's all different shapes and manifolds, there's all different kinds of stuff. I just wanted something that was really gonna cover the bottom pretty well. And again, this is all cut and slits underneath. And then uh, there's just this just beveled uh, drainage flow right here, which I couldn't really get too much function out of. Maybe it'll help a little bit. You can see where I got it connected there at the base. A lot of guys do kind of like a coil sort of thing where it wraps back through into the manifold. I was able to just pitch this uh, this this outgoing T here just straight down and it just angled just right and I just kind of set the uh, the manifold in and down so it just kind of pops right in. I can pop it right back out. None of this is glued together. Um, it snaps together really easy. It's just like, you know, Legos for grown-ups. Um, and that way you can just snap it all back apart to clean it real easy. And then uh, going out again, nothing that nobody's not doing. Just a simple uh, valve here that, you know, you can see there's a little plumber's tape on there, some Teflon tape, and uh, you, maybe you can see the silicone I got just around there. I used aquarium silicone. Uh, I thought that'd be a good, safe idea. It says to use food grade silicone or epoxy, but uh, I don't know. I thought if it's safe for fish, it better be safe for people. And having all my fish stuff I had around, so that worked out well. And then again, I haven't built the, um, I'm gonna build a uh, spray assembly here too, a spray manifold for uh, sparge water to come down on top of the grain bed. I may or may not shoot another video of that, but I just wanted anybody who is considering building their own manifold or lauder ton to know that uh, CPVC is an option. You don't have to weld, you don't have to know anything about using copper, you don't have to spend the money on copper. You can just very simply do this. Uh, Go to Lowe's, I mean, their, their stuff is so cheap, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I could never justify buying something pretty simple myself. It, you know, if you've used a, all you gotta do is get yourself a pipe cutter if you don't already have one. Real simple, just zip, uh, zip whatever lengths you need real easy. If you can use a tape measure and uh, if you can twist your fingers, you can make a manifold. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show everybody that. And I guess I'll let you know how the results come out. Thanks for watching.